Well, greetings, viewers of Warriors with Got That Funk. And um, I want to thank my friend Laura Lila for bringing my attention to what I'm about to share with you. Um, Google has a, obviously has its own homepage, and there's like a mission statement on there. And uh, the title of it is What We Believe. And uh, considering all the uh, changes with Google+, Plus, uh, these 10 things we know to be true, uh, when you read them and then you consider what's actually happening, it's actually laughable. Now I know PR is PR and you know there's always a bit of hyperbole and uh, you know duplicitous intention, but uh, I mean this takes the biscuit. I'm not going to read all 10 of them because a lot of it just has to do with the, the search engine aspect of what Google does. But I'm going to read the first two, and you have to excuse my delivery. I'm deliberately hamming it up on purpose, uh, just because I think it makes it that little bit more funny uh, to read. So, yeah, what we believe. Ten things we know to be true. We first wrote these ten things when Google was just a few years old. From time to time, we revisit the list to see if it still holds true. We hope it does. And you can hold us to that. Really? How? How the fuck are we supposed to hold Google to anything? You can't contact the motherfuckers. Anyway, <clears throat> number one, focus on the user and all else will follow. <laughs> I could barely read that with a straight face. All right, since the beginning, we've focused on providing the best user experience possible. Whether we're designing a new internet browser or a tweak to the look of a home page, we take great care to ensure that you the user will ultimately, oh, sorry, <clears throat> we take great care to ensure that they will ultimately serve you rather than our own internal goal or bottom line. <laughs> our homepage interface is clear and simple and pages load instantly. Placement in search results is never sold to anyone and advertising is not only clearly marked as such, it offers relevant content and is not distracting. And when we build new tools and applications, we believe they should work so well, you don't have to consider how they might have been designed differently. <laughs> and number two, it's best to do one thing really, really well. Well, then why is Google trying to take over every aspect of the fucking internet? Anyways, it's best to do one thing really, really well. We do search. With one of the world's largest research groups focused exclusively on, avoid, on solving search problems, we know what we do well and how we could do it better. Through continued iteration on difficult problems, we've been able to solve complex issues and provide continuous improvements to a service that already makes finding information a fast and seamless experience for millions of people. Our dedication to improving search helps us apply what we've learned to new products. <clears throat> That's a key sentence there. Like Gmail and Google Maps, for example. Our hope is to bring the power of search to previously unexplored areas and to help people access and use even more of the ever-expanding information in their lives. <clears throat> the ever-expanding information in my life. Um, what? Do you have expanding information in your life? Is your information expanding? Of course. Only because they give you more places to fucking put it. I mean, you know, my information is now expanded onto Google+. Plus. Why? Because they forced me to fucking have it. Uh, despite numerous uh, pleas with them that I didn't want it. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to read the other eight of these things because uh, they're equally humorous, but uh, they really do pertain more to the search aspect thing. But... You know, I, I think about this, and everybody's been saying this, you know, about how they resent being forced to take a Google Plus account and so on. And, um, you know, you're not forced. You don't have to use Google products, see? You don't have to. It's like no one forces you to have a telephone. You don't have to have a telephone. You know, no one forces you to, you know, work for a living. You could kill animals and, you know drink out of rivers, right? You could live in a cave. <laughs> you don't need this silly civilization shit that everyone uses. Fuck that, you know? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you found those two little tidbits as amusing as I did. And um, 
I don't know. I, I find this whole change, what Google's done with the whole comment system and moving it all to Google Plus, is just such a balls up. It blows my mind. It, uh, I've said this on Facebook, but it just it's as if Coca Cola decided to change its flavor to Dr. Pepper and just expects everybody to go, mmm, tasty. We love it. Thanks for the change. It's great. Another analogy might be I mean, suppose Facebook decided that, uh, you know, too many people were posting inane, pointless pictures like this. And it's clogging up everybody's homepage so people can't read what they're actually writing to one another. So they decided to create a new website called Facebook Plus where you could put all your photographs. How do you think the millions of people on Facebook would respond if Facebook decided to stop using its own part of the website for photographs and just shunted them all to a, 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 a auxiliary site. I think there'd be an uproar. I think it would make international news, in fact, if they did something like that. Funny how this Google Plus thing doesn't seem to make a ripple in the media, um, because I'm quite sure that it's confused and infuriated a lot of people. I know it sure has made me uh, consider giving up the whole thing with YouTube, but I, I'm, I'm too deeply stuck in at this point to, to give up my YouTube channel unless uh, a more attractive alternative makes itself obvious to me. So far that hasn't happened. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching this video, and uh, until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups. Oops, that's not the end. Let me take that one.